This is Pratt High's Studs and Duds. Up first, we have Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham. All right, well, Brees was a definite stud against the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday. He went 19 for 27 with 257 yards and a season high five touchdowns to five different receivers. Unfortunately, not included in that touchdown fest was Jimmy Graham. And in fact, Graham had zero targets and zero receptions on the day as the Steelers made it their goal to shut him down. Our next two are Fitzpatrick and DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, one of my duds is Ryan Fitzpatrick. He had a career day with 358 yards and six touchdowns. That would be a stud. Yes. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> That'd be a stud. And that's a stud because he usually doesn't put up those kind of numbers, and that's, he blew out the Titans. And another one of my studs is Calvin Johnson, who had another season, who had a season high, 11 catches for 146 yards and two touchdowns. And he has not done that all season long because he's been injured. Because he's been injured. Hopkins? All right, speaking of Ryan Fitzpatrick and his toasting of the Titans, uh, DeAndre Hopkins was a definite beneficiary of that. He went nine for 238 and two. He caught all nine of his targets. And in fact, he had a five for 117 and one touchdown line by half thanks to a 58-yard touchdown pass. The Titans just could not cover DeAndre Hopkins. No, they could not. Forte is our next stud. Matt Forte, no, he's a dud. Or dud, dud. sorry, dud. Matt Forte was one of my duds. Uh, he was facing one of the best rush defenses, their top five in the NFL, and he had only six yards on the ground and 56 yards through the air because they ended 52. up past two. He had six or seven for 52 yards. 52 yards through the air. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. And Tony uh, Romo. Tony Romo is another one of my duds. And as a Cowboys fan, I was really disappointed in his play. He had a lot of opportunities to, as the Eagles kicked a lot of field goals, a lot of field goals, and kept us in the game. But Romo never could come through as he finished with under 200 yards and two interceptions, no touchdowns. Although Terrence Williams looked to give up on yes. one of those interceptions. Our wide receivers were really lazy, and one of those interceptions was Terrence Williams' fault. And finally, St. Louis D and Bengals team as a whole. And Andre Ellington. All right, so for St. Louis D was a definite stud yesterday, of course. The Raiders actually have been surprisingly middle of the pack in the versus defenses this year. Uh, with Derek Carr at the home, but after two picks on Sunday, St. Uh, Oakland rather benched Derek Carr and enter Matt Schaub, and Matt Schaub continued his interception return for a touchdown streak yesterday. And so, with St. Louis D, their final stat line: six sacks, three picks, two fumble recoveries, and a touchdown and zero points allowed. I think it was thirty-eight points in one of my leagues, so that was pretty awesome. Now the Bengals. Uh, against the Tampa Bay defense that is ranked 28th in points allowed, 26th in yards, gives up the 7th most fantasy points to wide receivers and the 10th most to running backs, did none of that. But they won. Uh, they won 14 to 13. It's a win. That's not a stud league performance. It's a dud league <laughs> performance. And fortunately for most fantasy owners, A.J. Green salvaged his day with a touchdown catch. Meanwhile, Andre Ellington fell victim to the injury imp in Atlanta on Sunday and finished with just 12 yards rushing as he got injured in the first quarter. And Atlanta is a defense giving up the most fantasy points to running backs, and that was not good. That was our week 13 studs and duds.